lovelies welcome back to my channel I'm coming at you with another vlog today this is all about spring rituals it's springtime that's very exciting I feel the juices of life bubbling within me it feels really good so I just want to use this time to clean create and enjoy this energy it's of life and support life growing so i have just been spending the morning de-weeding um my backyard my front yard everything so i'm not done so i'll just take you along and that's the first spring activity we'll be doing is gardening so let's go this is what's going on currently back here lots of weeds on the floor oops take off my socks so they don't get all dirty when i'm working in mud so here is the big pile of weeds these weeds are very interesting because they really come up very easily like butter so i just do weed it over here on the sides and then i de-weeded over here I know on the side over there. So the whole reason why I'm de-weeding, because I do kind of feel bad. I don't want the weeds to feel like, wow, no one loves me. <laughs> because my cats really enjoy eating the weeds to help them throw up if they can't digest something. So that's really good. But I just want to be able to plant the new stuff that we got for the spring summertime. And I need more room for that. And I don't want the weeds to take it over. So here are our little starters that we got. And I'm first going to work with the fennel here. So I'm going to put the fennel in this big pot. So far in the garden, all we have is greens. Greens left. As you can see, nothing but, nothing but greens here. So that's really nice. You have greens for days. They've lasted us literally like a year these greens we planted them as soon pretty much as soon as we moved in and give or take a few months and they've been with us ever since so i'm just going to try to fit in between the greens stuff for the springtime took a bath got all the dirt off me from working in the garden put on a cute outfit and yeah i'm gonna hopefully take some pictures for the ground i am trying to straighten up the house so there's it's not perfect there's still some knickknacks places that they shouldn't be but this is what my room looks like it's kind of clean not really i need like a deep clean and then here's my studio very messy very very messy so i'm gonna walk you through my organization and just show you especially this area needs to really be organized so i'm excited to organize the area clean but I'm gonna take a walk because it's springtime. I need to get outside and hopefully I can take some pictures. Okay friends, just got back from 
taking a few cute pictures in my garden outside. I'll post the pictures here. If you're interested, follow me on Instagram. And now I'm just gonna take a burrito break because your girl is hungry. Got some more cleaning and de-weeding ahead, gardening ahead, so I need a fuel up. Make my day. Boom, pump the jam, pump it up. Okay, so it's been like a straight hour of bending down, de-weeding, bit tired, my back hurts, yeah. So <laughs> I'm not done, but this is what it's looking like so far. I hope the compost people will take all this. But look at something cool I found, a shell. Little shelly in our under the weeds buried in there so I think that's good luck maybe it's a snail I don't want to disturb its home too much so I'm just gonna leave the little snail in there there was a lot of worms so then the soil is obviously very good there was a lot of worms and snails and caterpillars and all that and I found my earring I thought I lost this earring I was really bummed about it and I found it it was buried in there so that's interesting Whew, I can see how gardeners are freaking in shape as heck because that's some tough work right there mm -hmm. <laughs> just gonna plant some herbs we got chamomile we got lemon verbena sage two types of basil and oregano so six pots to plant i think we can do it let's go okay so this basil is looking pretty worse for the wear as you can see she looks pretty done to me so i'm actually going to just compost her all together thank you for providing us with your fine basil friend appreciated it you're a champ you're a true vp and i'm gonna need you to get out of here now it's 10 30 let's get out of bed <laughs> got done with yoga it was a lot for me I practice outside in the sun the sun is so strong it's about noon now so I felt I was sweating so hard and I just felt myself getting a heat exhaustion I was doing a yin more slower paced um, yoga class because I just took an Ayurveda class and I've learned I have a lot of pitta a lot of fire in me 
So to balance that out, I should ground myself with more yin internal practices, slower pace, especially it being airy season. I just want to like go, go, go. I have so many thoughts and so much energy. I really want to slow it down. Uh, my body feels a lot better. It's not as sore anymore. I think being in the sun does aggravate the fire within me, but being in the sun does heal the body, I believe. So it's able to like run the energy, the stagnant lactic acid through the body because it's warming it up. It's making it thinner. And I don't know. I just feel like being in the sun really helps with soreness. <sighs> but now I am super hungry. I was distracted in my yoga practice because I just noticed how hungry I was getting. And that's kind of peculiar for me because I don't really get hungry. Especially when it's not like it's not like it's like af like really, really late afternoon. It's only noon. Just hit it. And I've had this big juice, so a little out of ordinary, but it makes sense. Like I said, it's airy season fire and I'm a fire sign. I have a lot of fire in me, so fire is transformation. It transforms not only information and energy, but also like obviously food. So oftentimes they need a bit more energy and food. Planting some lavender delphiniums. They look pretty, so I'm doing just like either or, either or. the first round of making the mushroom jewelry holder so this is what it's looking like now but now I have to wait until this dries uh, and I'm thinking it's gonna take at least two to three days or more um, usually pottery takes a week to fully dry so I'm not put it on this I put it on this cardboard because hopefully I don't think pottery sticks to cardboard it would stick to the wood for sure but I don't think it would stick to the cardboard so put it on the cardboard that way I can just like lift it off peel it up and it'll be in one piece that is the the idea the plan the goal a little get ready with me your girl is putting on makeup what it's finally happening, folks. You know, it's Friday. If you don't put on makeup today, then when? I'm like a makeup on the weekends person. I don't really like the eyeliner situation. I feel like it looks quite bad. Let's see if we can make it look good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're gonna keep it like that. Keep it rocking, keep it rocking. Put on a little highlight, boom, boom. Give ourselves a nice glow. I gotta tell you, doing a face mask and put a makeup on, it feels so much better. It's like I have no pores. Okay, and I'm using this moon paint, whatever. It's like cheek, lip tint, face tint. You can use it for anywhere. Just put it on my cheeks. Ooh, silly, silly. Put it on my nose. 
Pero me chiqui sui sui And I heard someone say like when you put highlight under your blush, it makes you look like you're glowing from within. So do I look like I'm glowing from within? Hope so. <gasps> That's what I'm going for. What am I getting ready for, you ask? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. Am I going to the movies? Am I going to a bar, meeting up with friends? No, no, nothing. I am just gonna go skate in my garage, yay. When people say you live, you live once, I, I really take that to heart. I'm like, you gotta just, you gotta just go for it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna live my best life in my garage. Okay, this is my spring look. Okay. That was a big bubble. this new skill of skating. This is literally my second day practicing these tricks. So, you know, very rusty, but I'm gonna keep going and I'm spinning. Hi, I'm gonna keep practicing new skills for the springtime. This is the time to cultivate new skills and skating so fun. Woo, woo. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Skate off into the sunset. That's not the sunset. This is the sunset.